this is what we have there so this is what our carousel will be doing when we click on next it will take us to the next image and if we click on previous we'll go back to the previous one so we get it next previous next previous okay so mind you you don't have to use jpeg images you can use any kind of images you want whether it be gif gifs pngs or whatever format that you want to use as long as it's displayable in a browser you can use it i just so happen to like jpegs because they're so awesome and cool okay so let's preview what we have right now in the browser Ooh, what's wrong so it's saying that it can't find this okay what did we do wrong guys can't find the images hmm interesting okay um sorry about that guys um the JPEG images have an extension of JPG instead of JPEG so that was the issue why they were not showing up so let's rectify that and then refresh again we should have working images okay so I'll just close this for now so as you can see we have images um, stacked up next one after each other but basically what we want is for the images just one of them to be initially so shown and when you click on the previous you get taken to the previous image and when you click the next after this one this one shows up and every other image gets hidden and then when you click on next the next one shows up click on next this one shows up up until you reach the last one which is this one when you click next on this image what we want is to be taken back to the first image and then the whole cycle gets done once again say likewise when you're on the first image and you click on previous you get taken to the last image here okay so before we do any javascript work to set that up um let's create our css to initially just make the first image to be shown so we'll just go to our css file here and then create a class called image shown and then we'll create a new class called image hidden so the shown ima image will have a display of block actually let's make it inline block okay and the image hidden will have a display of none so what we'll do is we'll apply the this class here of image shown let's copy that we'll apply it to the first image which is this one so this one is represented by this image target here as you can see bed and you have a bed here so we'll apply that class there we'll give it a class of image shown and then every other s image in the carousel will initially be given an image hidden class just so that the first image is the only image that's shown initially so we'll copy that as well class image hidden paste it here paste it here and finally here so when we refresh now what we expect to see is just this first image the one I'm dragging on right now should be the only one visible and all of these should be hidden so assuming we did everything right let's refresh yay it worked okay not to get too excited we still have some work left to do all right so let's tone this down a little bit let's make it a bit small because it's taking up too much of the screen so what we'll do is we're going to reduce the size of the container for this image and then set um sorry yeah the container for the images and then set the image um width and height to be whatever the size of the container is so we'll just target this container in our css file here it's a class so we'll do a dot carousel inner 
width of 500 px pixels and height of 400 pixels remember you can do this whatever you want but um, we just want to make something medium size something that's fit that fits on a, a regular screen you know as you can see this is okay but it's a bit too big for um, images you know, usually you don't even have carousels this big so yeah 500 400 I think that's all right so let's refresh okay so as you as you can see the container is 500 by 400 but the images are still bigger than the container so what we have to do is take the image actually set the con parent container pos position to be relative and then for each image inside the container we'll set it width and height to the containers width and height so we'll target images inside carousel inner and say width 100 percent height 100 percent so basically what we're doing here is saying take the width of my con parent container and set my width to my parents width and likewise for height we're taking the height of this container here this image is inside of this div tag in here so sorry this one so we've set this width to 500 pixels and we set the height to 400 pixels so every image inside of this div tag here will have whatever the divs width and height is okay now that we've confirmed that that's what we want to do let's go and refresh the page voila it works okay so now that we have a proper decent size let's go and um, fix these links here and make them to the left and right of this image set so how we're going to do that is we'll add classes to this links as well so we'll give it a class of of previous link and then we'll give this one a class of next link sorry so what we're going to do is we're going to take the previous link and the next link and float them to the left so when we float this to the left this image set here it's con this image set and its container will get floated on onto this image here previous link here and this next link will get floated onto this image sets container you'll see what I mean in a minute okay let's refresh ah uh, what happened let's see hmm okay I think I know what happened we have to float this as well float left yes okay that fixed it sorry we had to float this container as well this so all these three elements have been floated previous link container for set of images and next link are all been floated so next let's just push these links down to have them at a medium uh, sorry in the middle of the images here how we're going to do that is we'll give them a margin top of let's say 150 pixels let's see how that looks uh. okay looks almost right let's just move it a little bit 170 pixels and we'll give the um, previous link a right padding of padding ma sorry margin right of 20 pixels and we'll refresh yay and then we'll take the next link and give it a margin left of 20 pixels okay 